I tend to be very doting on my my girlfriends, and uh, I remember I had a girlfriend who said that she always looked for guys who were who were going to dote on her, but then she'd get bored when they no longer had anything to uh, to give. <laughs> so I've dated a lot of women who are ball busters, just you know, absolutely contemptuous of men. I don't know why I'm attracted to ball busters. So I'm just usually a thoughtful, considerate boyfriend. <laughs> But this girlfriend said I'm more of a taker than a giver. She says I look for men who are very doting but then it doesn't turn out well because I lose interest when they don't have anything to give me. It's almost comic, I keep playing that one out. And she tells me, like that you're so poor, definitely know that I'm interested in you and it's not for the money. It's a really big thing. I asked her why she was faithful with a particular boyfriend, she said, because he scared me, he said it was his way or the highway, it was like, gulp, okay, lay down the law early on. She told me, you're really afraid to tell me things, but if you say anything, I'm like a little obedient dog, so know your power in your speech, it's not only in the bedroom, you can say stuff, and I'm like, okay. Master, you know, you don't like Jews, why would you want to live in Israel? She says, oh, I like secular Jews, just yes, fine. You know, people who go to nice non-kosher restaurants and they don't wear their kippah, they're very cultured and sophisticated, not like the Brooklyn Jews.